looking for Webflow hacks to take your web design to the next level. In today's video, we're going to talk about six secret Webflow hacks that you need to know coming up next. Hey designers, Tony here with Flux where we talk Webflow and web design. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. When it comes to building websites, especially with Webflow, there are always new updates, features, and design trends to take your websites to the next level. Whether you're streamlining your workflow or looking to level up your cool points by adding that final 1% of extra polish to your websites, rest assured, you're in the right place. Make sure you watch this video till the end to find out how thousands of designers like you were able to go full time with their freelance work. Secret Webflow hack number one, customize your scroll speed. You can do this by linking a button or a link on the same page to a destination further down the page. Wait, what is the scroll speed? Your scroll speed is the animated speed time you set. So think 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 3, or 5. The main takeaway is you can customize it to animate very quickly or as slow as a snail. This is a feature commonly found on landing pages, so you can add links to your navigation toolbar or buttons within the page to direct your visitors to important call to actions further down the page. According to a recent study of 7 billion users, on average, website visitors spend about 62 seconds on a single web page. Speed scroll, you're welcome. Let's look at some examples. Polyworks is a cool example of using a speed scroll. After a single scroll of the mouse on the bottom right, an arrow appears. By clicking that arrow, you can scroll from section to section to enter an immersive linear web viewing experience. I really like the immersion here and the visual storytelling achieved with this style. I noticed that the scroll speed made this seamless moving from section to section. Super Deluxe is a textbook example of the speed scroll. It allows you to scroll freely from element to element by using the navigation toolbar or using the buttons within the landing page. You're able to get to the exact section that you're looking for with ease. I really like how easy this site is to get around. There's absolutely no friction. Uh, if you design for a lot of corporate blue collar businesses, this type of setup is a great way to go for efficiency. I've done some work in the e-commerce web design space and it's always about getting people to buy quickly. Figure out their needs in a way that makes you the obvious solution. Adding clickable call to actions to your web pages will always be a great solution to getting people to take action quickly. There are many other elements that we can talk about in other videos related to e-commerce, but for now, linking a scroll speed to teleport your website visitors right where they want to be is a life hack that saves them time. Imagine if we could teleport to the candy aisle. We would have no teeth, okay? Gums. <laughs> you have about 62 seconds. If they have a hard time finding elements on your page, they will leave. Even your friends and family, they love you, but off your website they go. If you hate math like me, you're gonna love this next one. Secret Webflow hack number two, calculating perfectly in Webflow. So you start a new project and you find yourself one decimal off with your Flexbox elements or not being able to get the right width for imported images of varying sizes. This hack will be your best friend. By simply hovering over your width size window, you can divide any calculation in seconds. Don't take my word for it, let's do it. Let's try 230 divided by three or 100 divided by seven. By all means, get your calculator out and double check the total. You have three seconds. One, two, three, and boom. Now throw your calculator away. Kidding, am I? 
No need to dust off your calculator. Have your images aligned perfectly without having to leave your workspace. These next two hacks are from the amazing designers at FinSuite. Secret Webflow hack number three. Play intro web animations once per day. There is nothing quite like an awesome animation that opens when you enter a website. If you've ever gone to a website and found yourself running into the same animation over and over, loading and reloading, it starts to lose its charm and can make you want to exit the website altogether or never return ever again. But we have a recommendation to fix this on your portfolio websites or a website you may be designing for a client. It allows you to set a time delay to your animations. For example, delaying an animation 24 hours after the viewer enters your website. Now, on to some examples from awards.com. Let's take a look at Life in Vogue Italy. This site opens with an animated signature, and when you press the button, prompts a page to trigger another animation. These kind of websites are obviously built for wow factor and experience. However, one thing I have noticed is some of the pages have a bit of trouble loading in the first opening. The design here is very interesting to look at and with an added 24 hour animation delay or less, you can return to the website and go right to the information that you're looking for instead of triggering animations every time you return. Let's take a look at another example. I noticed when loading this page that it took about a minute and 30 seconds to load after a few refreshes to get beyond the initial loading animation. Upon opening the site, there is a really nice car animation that changes angles based on your mouse moves and really gets fancy when you begin to scroll down the page. Such a cool immersive interaction, but with the long load times, I might have left before the wow factor here. Allowing visitors to return and get right into the incredibly immersive site would definitely be a hack that would encourage me to return to this site. I have to be honest, I enjoy a good animated design like the next person, especially when it has a story element attached to it and it reveals information in an immersive and detailed way. But if I revisit your website within the same day, multiple times, and my computer is doing the Harlem Shake trying to reopen your page, or it's a lengthy animation when I really just want to contact your business for booking or meeting or pricing details, the average person might not be so patient. The reality that a person is taking the time to return to your website is a great thing. And this 24 hour animation delay hack might help your business go from a good idea to a design partner. Simply put, maybe remove the friction. Secret Webflow hack number four, create an age gate for your website. Depending on the type of content on your website, you may need an age gate to keep your younger viewers out in favor of the 18 and up crowd. More mature video games, movie trailers, and socially taboo products often use this type of gate to ensure they target the correct viewers. This could also be a great feature to get clarity on the demographic that uses a service within a form as well. Create an age gate, or as I like to call it, only old people allowed gate. Let's check this example from Volley. Volley is a seltzer with sparkling water and real juice. Before you enter their site, you have a minimal age gate that asks you if you are 21. I like the simplicity of their age gate and the fact that the age gate puts the responsibility on the website visitor and not the company involved. After pressing yes, you are free to explore their content with your 21 year old eyeballs. Let's take a look at Wiser. Wiser is another example of using age, but this time on a form. Let me clarify. This is not an age gate to keep website visitors away from their web content, but asking age within an online form, you can divide your email content by age range with tools like MailChimp. 
allowing you to divide the content sent to your clients or customers based on age or other demographics. This is not something that Wiser does, but for the sake of example, there is definitely nothing stopping you from doing this for your clients for your service when you try to send out targeted emails, ads, or postcards to your clients. If you're getting value from this video, go ahead and give it a like. Secret Webflow hack number five, light and dark mode switch. This is hands down my favorite entry on this list. Being able to toggle from dark to light mode on a web page, creating a completely different look with the click of a button will have you clicking back and forth to pinpoint the subtle differences of both modes. This feature reminds me of the carousel feature on Instagram that allows you to scroll from image to image. Also seen on our Instagram, check it out, Rand Siegel on Instagram. Ultimately, making your website more interactive and lengthening how long people view your web page and in the long run can do wonders for your Google ranking. If light and dark mode switches align with your design direction, I definitely recommend giving it a try. In a recent study, 82.7% of people, that's 201 in total, who actually do use dark mode said that dark mode was easier on their eyes. Apple.com is a great example and they've always been a cornerstone for ideas when designing on white and dark mode designs. Before the next hack, what Webflow hack do you think fits your client's needs best on this list? Or could you add to your personal website? Put it below in the comments. Secret Webflow hack number six. Become a full-time web designer. The ultimate hack of all is the Webflow Masterclass. On YouTube, we can only cover so much, but if you want to take your web design to the next level, like thousands of designers all over the world, there is a link below to begin your journey. I joined the program myself and now I'm working full-time as a web designer using Webflow. Also, I'm in this video. Hi. The program actually changed my life and opened the door to better clients and gave me a seamless process from the first call with my clients to the final delivery of their websites. Click the link below in the bio or description to find out when our doors open. Watch this video next to get even more hacks on using Webflow.